Hi, Melissa. Hello. Welcome to the PLT podcast. Thank you. This is so amazing. It is quite cute, isn't it? Super cute. Can you describe it to anyone who can't see us right now? Oh, yeah. You guys, I'm forgetting. No, no, no. Don't. Go for it. Because are they going to be able to see this eventually, though? So these guys can watch on YouTube, but they can't watch for a week. So first of all, they get to listen. They get to listen. Yeah, it's all about the podcast. Guys, you have no idea how cute this room looks right now. This is like a slumber party dream. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. This comfy bed, it's pink everywhere, these nice curtains. Honey, we are living the life over here. <laughs> We've got it all right now. <laughs> and I'm really excited to get to know you and to let our followers mm. and listeners get to know you a little bit better. Let me just start by saying you have done a hell of a lot in your oh life and career. So you are a singer, actress, dancer, influencer, mum, model, businesswoman. Aww. I think I've got them all there. That's nearly, <laughs> nearly. Yeah. You have done That's a lot. It. Tell me a little bit about your background and how you kind of got started off in the industry. So I've always loved dance and music yeah. and that was my first passion. That was my first love. And growing up, I just knew that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, I started singing and dancing. Um, I competed in dance for many years. Yes. And I knew at a young age, like, I was going to come out to L.A. Um, I auditioned for the Performing Arts Center, this school. Um, I didn't even take my SATs. I told my mom wow. and dad, like, I am moving out to L.A. I'm becoming, you know, a dancer, a performer. It's what I want to do. Oh so they were like, are you sure you want to? I'm like, yes, 100 percent. Like, yeah. this is happening. Um, so my senior year in high school um, was competing, like I said, in dance. I injured my foot and had to get surgery on the back of my ankle. So I had an impingement in my heel and I literally was like, oh, my gosh, my full ride scholarship totally yeah, down the drain, like everything I couldn't, um, you know, I couldn't come out. So basically I had to get surgery, recoup. Um, but that time um, I was living in Michigan and my parents were actually in San Francisco. They were in the Bay. So I finished uh, high school and then moved out to be with them so that I could rehab and yeah. recoup yeah. Um, surgery. And then as soon as I was done, I was like, no, I'm still moving out to LA. Like this is happening. I auditioned for a girl group and that kind of just like started my whole LA journey. Wow. So yeah. The so, whole in injury must have been like a scary time because I guess it's like mm -hmm. when an athlete injures themselves or a dancer, like a performer, like yeah. it could be scary. Like it's because if it's something that you've been doing your whole entire yeah. life and it's all you know and it's all you love and that one thing is like, you know, getting taken away from mm. you. Oh my gosh, it was, I was devastated. I was like so, so upset. Um, but it also, I don't know, made me think about a lot of other things yeah. like, you know, and, and other things I wanted to get into. I was so focused, I think, on getting into this one school yeah. that um, me not getting into the school and having to kind of like turn it down, I just went right into kind of like working yeah. so I you know started booking commercials and wow. tv shows I was in this girl group and yeah then started I think from there I was like making the band uh -huh. and like search the next pussycat dolls um so all of these auditions and things came up and if I was attending the school um I wouldn't have been be able, able to, to, to do them so I feel like wow. everything happens for a reason in your life and when they say that like it really does it really and you does, have to yeah. just like trust the process mm -hmm. um but that was a really hard time for me so yeah that was the the, the story of kind of like how I got started when yeah. I first moved to LA it just um yeah. I immersed myself right into it though and you're the definition of a triple threat mm -hmm. like the actual definition how did you first discover your talents like how young were you Oh my gosh, I have a picture of me like one years old dancing around with the Michael Jackson Thriller album. No, yeah. no way. Yeah, I, I I, always just loved dance and, you know, just that's, I think, it was in me since day Destined. one. Yeah, yeah, wow. I loved it. And how did it all begin for you? Because you sort of said you'd, you've auditioned for these um, different shows. adverts, mm -hmm. different shows, but when did it really kick off for you? So I think being a part of a show like Making the Band, yeah. which was at the time one of the first um, talent-based TV shows. Yeah. Like if you think about it, American Idol wasn't on TV. Um, Real World was kind of like the first reality show. Yeah. So I feel like that platform was really great for people to see young talent, fresh faces. Mm -hmm. And Diddy was so amazing to work with. Like, yeah, tell you know, me about that. that was just, I mean, like gosh, that was back when Diddy was releasing big music. Yeah. Like the R&B like, scene was huge. Yeah. And 
he was kind of like you know a mystery like now nowadays you know we have social media we have yeah. instagram we have so much and back then you didn't have um i don't know what the word is but they just were more of a mystery yeah you know you didn't you didn't have like them like it wasn't we... accessible to get exactly. to know like Thank a you. celebrity yeah. you kind of can get to know people through social media exactly you feel, yeah so back then it was still kind of like oh my gosh who is this guy like watching him interact with us yeah. you know seeing um you know, his personality and like the things he put us through. Um, it was such a great opportunity mm. and kind of shaped me and molded me into, yeah, like the person I am today. I had such great um, experiences with both of those shows. And yeah. I think from there, that kind of gave me, you know, a name. People kind of started to know about me. Yeah. And then I went off and recorded. Um, I got signed to a production agreement and recorded like, you know, four songs um, so yeah, I started like dabbling into like yeah. music and the music industry is just so it's different now, but it's such a hard industry to break yeah. into too. So, um, you know, I still, I still am in the recording studio. I still love to sing. I still love to dance. Those yeah. are things I'm just not willing to ever give up. Yeah. I don't think you ever should. Um, <laughs> You're clearly so talented. Like to have all these talents, it's absolutely incredible. And not many people are blessed with the talents that you are. Oh, thank you. But how old were you when you were going through these sort of things? Like, so, so making a band. So making the band, I think I was like 23. Wow. Yeah, 23 years old, 24 around there. Um, and yeah, like 23. And, yeah, it was such a great time in my life, yeah. you know, just to to experience mm -hmm. all of that. Um, and then from there, like, I started getting into um, commercial work and booking yes. um, some big commercials and booking some really great guest stars on TV shows and some films. And it just all sort of snowballed for you. Yeah. One of the big adverts that I've sort of read about was the Old Navy advert. Oh, yeah. And I think you got mistaken for Kim Kardashian. Is that right? Yeah. How was that? Like, that must have been crazy. So it's so funny because, like, I feel like a lot of people don't even know, like, the back story Tell of us this. The back, right, okay. Are you if guys you ready? Know, we, we are about to find out. I'm so excited because I don't know the whole so, story. So pretty much, like, every actress in Hollywood or yeah. if you're in your New York or, you know, London, wherever – you audition for jobs, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, I got a call from my commercial agent and they said they're looking for a pop star. They're looking for okay. actually someone like Fergie. That was on the breakdown. Wow. They wanted a girl that could Fergie. like sing, yep. dance, yep. like kind of do the whole thing. And a few weeks prior to that, I just finished um, recording my first music video, um, Dance Floor. Yes. And um, so it was such cool timing because... I don't know. Everything was just so fresh. Yeah. And then I feel like I just went to that audition like, oh, I got this mm -hmm. in the bag. Like, this is me all day, you know? Yeah. And Joseph Kahn, the director, um, was the first time I met him. And if you don't know who Joseph Kahn is, mm -hmm. he's major. Just Google all the things he's worked wow. on and all the people he's worked with. Like, literally the biggest uh, music videos in the industry he's done. Like, from Britney Spears to Taylor Swift. Oh, like, my God. Ma he's massive. A big guy. He is. Massive campaigns for a big, huge brand. So, um, he was like, uh, I I was like he was like where have you been I was like what do you mean where have I been I've been right here he's like <laughs> he's like you are amazing I was like thank you and so then I got a call back and I was like oh my god please like I hope I book this job because this would be so amazing yeah. um and I ended up yeah booking booking the job so I was super excited it was me and two guys mm -hmm. and like the breakdown said they wanted a girl that could sing act dance kind of do everything um the song was already pre-recorded so they didn't know oh, okay. that the girl they didn't know if like they were just gonna find an actress that like couldn't sing and maybe yeah. could dance or whatever so they had already had this song done and they were like man if oh, we would have met you shame. yeah they're like if we would have met you you know a few weeks ago you could have like recorded the song yeah. so I'm like I would have loved that um so anyways I'm on set we're doing you know the campaign and it's going amazing they have so many cute setups mm -hmm. um and this was my first like really really big, big co job. commercial yeah. mm -hmm. i've booked like a lot of other commercials but the um the they were going to air this so you know old navy commercials they yes. run them all the time yeah, yeah, i mean yeah. you can't miss an old navy commercial <laughs> so this was going to be some really great like exposure for me yeah um so I remember the first time it aired, it was Super Bowl Sunday. And a big yes, day to air. A big, oh my God, yeah, I didn't realize that. A really big day to air. And um, 
So all my families, of course, once they saw it, they all called me. They're like, oh, my God, the commercial is amazing. You look amazing. This is so awesome. Like, congrats. And just to see their excitement was just so cool because, you know, they know I've been out here in L.A. grinding, like, you know, on this rat race of, like, auditions. Mm. And honestly, for every, like, you know, 100 audition you go to, you might book one. It's just it's a numbers game. You just never know. Um, So... Yeah, it's like I fought tooth and nail for this job. I was so excited about it. And then the following, so the Super Bowl Sunday, then I think on Monday, uh, The View, someone made a comment on The View. I think it was like Whippy Goldberg said something like, look at this commercial. Doesn't this girl look familiar? Who do you think this is? And the audience, or like almost like they, I almost feel like, they already wanted the audience to say Kim Kardashian. Like they like didn't his even plan. Yeah, like they mm. didn't even give the audience like an option because again at that time, Kim was everywhere. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't go to a grocery store and not see a tabloid with her um, you know, billboards. I mean, she was yeah. literally everywhere and it was that hairstyle that was like just the dark mm-hmm. um brown parted down the middle, you know, the bangs winged out. It was just like a whole style and thing that everyone every girl like trend trend. it was a trend exactly so I kind of feel like with my hair being dark and like the style that it was because we were so used to seeing her so much Mm -hmm. and everywhere at that time that the next girl who had dark hair with her hair parted down the middle was obviously just going to be like Kim K you know it's like they that's that's exactly what they went to um without even giving you know, just a second to be like, no, it's actually not her. But I kind of feel like that whole thing was like coaxed. Like they didn't give anyone an opportunity in the audience. And then that's what snowballed this whole frenzy of like, oh my God, um, you know, it's a double ganger, whatever they call it. (laughs) They were saying a double ganger. I was like, what? I didn't even know what that word meant until a couple of days ago when I was researching I know. (laughs) And then um, it just was crazy. I was like, you've got to be effing kidding me oh, i cannot yeah i cannot believe this this is yeah. crazy because it's like first of all as beautiful as she is mm-hmm. i do not look like him mm-hmm. i just don't i just don't look like her i have friends who look more like her mm-hmm. than, than i do i've gotten before you look like eva longoria i can definitely say like okay i could see yeah. where sometimes you could mm-hmm. say where, yeah. where people could say that i can agree but for kim like i don't look like her at all like i don't yeah. move like her our bodies aren't the same like there was nothing in that commercial where if you were to watch it, you would have been like, oh, that's Kim. You, I've watched I've watched it, so. Just, no. It's just like. I mean, I didn't see it. Myself. Yeah, it's clear as day. So I think there was just also at that time, um, there was rumors that I was like seeing Reggie Bush. And, oh, yeah, okay. So, so. no mm-hmm. one, I just <laughs> feel like there was a lot more to the story than like really what was really going okay. on. I feel like. They just did not like me and maybe just didn't really? want the commercial out there. Yeah, they they stopped the commercial, I guess. Like, I was kind of upset. I was about to say, how did oh you Oh, my feel? God. I was so, so upset because I'm like, you have, like, everything. Yeah. Like, you have everything. Like, why would you just stop to – it's like little old me. Like, what am I going to do? i just this girl who booked a commercial. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like – you didn't go out there planning anything, did you? No, it's like, it is wow. what it is. So I really do feel like, um, yeah, that got taken away from me. And I was really, mm-hmm. really upset about it. And, you know, it is what it is. You just got to be able to move on and like, you mm-hmm. know, again, just hit the pavement and keep going. Yeah. That's all you can do. But it was definitely one of those things where I was just like, wow. Mm. You mentioned before about confidence. When you walked into a room, you were so confident and, you know, you knew you kind of could do that. Has that always been something that comes natural to you? I think growing up and starting with dance, like at such a young age, like you're in front of a mirror, you're Mm -hmm. like performing. I think naturally it's so good to instill that into young kids because that's what's building their confidence, you Mm -hmm. know, and I feel like their confidence, sorry. Um, And I feel like because, you know, that was my roots, like I feel like that helped, but yeah. I feel like you have to also fake it till you make it. You <laughs> know, so you get more confidence. You yeah, go along, don't you, you have the more to. You do even something. sometimes when you know I've walked into rooms and I've been like, oh my gosh, like I do not feel confident right now. You just have to like pull it up, honey, mm-hmm. and just like pull it out of thin <laughs> air and like you know, yeah. I love that. And so I think it's clear to say you've done so much in your life so far, and I know there's a load more exciting things coming. But what are your favorite achievements to date? Oh, yeah, big question. 
<laughs> okay, so this is this is going to be, I don't know if anyone, for me right mm-hmm. now, obviously, giving birth to my baby girl. Yes, Linda if I like, me. Yeah, if I think about it, I'm going to start tearing up. I'm <gasps> such, I'm so emo. But um, yes, being a mom, first and foremost, like. That's absolutely incredible. Everyone says like, you know, it's so hard and it is, but it honestly is the most rewarding job role I've ever played in my life. Wow. Like she is just everything. And how has becoming a mom sort of changed your life? Has it had a huge impact? Oh my gosh. You know, it's funny. You go to the hospital, you have your beautiful baby, you take it home, and that very next day your life is, yeah, like completely different. Wow. You know, there's no more like, okay, let me just run out the house. I have to go film this thing really quick. I have to go. I was yeah. just that girl that's like constantly on the go. Like mm-hmm. even just like creating content, um, you know, just doing that so much with yeah. the past few years it's like you have to schedule everything now you have to make sure you have a nanny um for us brian and i it's it's hard because all of our families in toronto and in michigan yeah so we, it's just us out here in la yeah you know, we wow. don't have any help from from anyone so um you know it is like challenging mm-hmm. and um you know you just have to find the balance And the rhythm with your partner too, you know, I feel like people say, well, having a a child can, you know, put a lot of stress on a relationship and it can. And like, Mm -hmm. um, Brian and I have such a good relationship. Like, you know, that was my high school sweetheart. So we're like solid, you know? So for, for me to even say that, like, wow, it is hard. Like it is like, I'm, I just like, I look at us now though. And I'm like, wow we did that yeah you know it's like you have such a different appreciation for your significant other and Mm -hmm. like you know the strengths that you guys have to pull from and it's so beautiful it's such an amazing chapter I will say yeah so far the best one (laughs) that's so amazing to know and lovely to hear yeah and I want to talk a little bit more about that later on but I just want to still carry on on your career you've got a little bit more a little bit more I'm already getting to the oh no that's 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 a big that's a big achievement and I I love that that's your biggest achievement like out of all the incredible things you've done something so natural yeah is your biggest and I absolutely Um, love that Okay, so back to career, some of the, the other things. I so mean, I want to talk about your YouTube channel because oh, yeah. your YouTube channel is quite a big thing too. You've got a lot of subscribers and you have posted recently, you've posted London's Nursery. Yeah. So your content's kind of changing. Yeah. But tell me a little bit about your YouTube channel. Like, do you want to pursue that further now? Yeah, so funny enough, like YouTube to me was just like anytime I'd shoot a music video yeah. or like some kind of like, you know, creative video, mm-hmm. that's where I would put it. I would put it up on YouTube. I wasn't the girl that was like vlogging my life and really like no. letting you into my life. I just like, you know, would put up some of the projects I was the working work. on. It's the very work. creative. Yeah. So um, now since London, I do feel like I have such an amazing community Mm -hmm. that, you know, I want to help. I want to share things with. And YouTube is a great platform to do that with. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of want to start venturing off. One of the um, first questions I had, like when I was doing my nursery, was like, oh, my God, do a nursery tour, do a nursery tour. Yes. So so I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, and that was like the first, um, look, first of all, into our house. Like we haven't, that's the only room. No other rooms are completed yet. Yeah, yeah. We're we're still working on it, but, um. Well, if the nursery is anything to go off, guys, (laughs) I mean, if you haven't seen the video, it's, the house is going to be good. It came out so (laughs) cute. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Almost as good as a set, you know? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, it's (laughs) it's better. The set is so gorgeous. gorgeous. You guys have to see the set. It's so beautiful. (gasps) And we've got to talk about your iconic wedding dance like I don't think anyone in the world if you haven't seen it like I don't know where you've been it's got over 17 million views on YouTube Mm -hmm. tell me about the wedding dance I literally want to know everything from start to end how did you think of it how long did it take to plan rehearsals everything okay so um I always knew always always knew even before I was engaged before obviously I was married like I was going to do this for my husband oh my god yep I always knew I wanted to do this dance for my husband and you know Brian has watched me growing up like he met me when I was like 18 19 years old so he knows my love for dance he knows like you know I'm a performer that's what I love to do so I was like I want to give him the performance of a lifetime like this is going to be for him Oh just like God. shower him with my love just you know and he's such a quiet guy like he's 
the complete opposite of me. He doesn't really like to be in like the limelight. Yeah. He's more reserved. And so I don't know. I just like really wanted to give him this like moment on his wedding day. So. And his reaction as well. Like, we, you know, oh I've watched gosh. it over and over, like quite a few times. I remember watching it when it first came out. And, you know, I've been watching it again recently and I'm just watching like you are this ball of energy Aww. and just this absolute whirlwind. And the dance, wow. I mean, wow. Thank and you. he's just sat like absolutely admiring you. His eyes don't take focus off you <laughs> once. And I'm like, I mean, why would they? And it's just incredible. Like how how was he in that moment? Oh, my gosh. He was amazing. We were so locked. Like yes. I didn't look off like... Yeah, we were just locked into each other's eyes. And I feel like that was the most beautiful part about mm -hmm. that video. Yeah. Um, if anyone saw it, it was just like how we were connecting in that moment. Um, I had to like lie to him, you guys, no. for months no, about where I us. was, like the rehearsals. Like, so my girlfriends, um, I asked my girlfriends like to be a part of it and they were yeah. like totally on board. Yeah. And um, I reached out to my girlfriend, Bryn, who helped me choreograph the dance and we would meet first I just met, wanted to meet with Bryn one-on-one -on -one just so that we could like kind of develop like the tone and really like figure out what we wanted to do yeah you know um so I picked songs that were like meaningful <sighs> like first of all Lil mm -hmm. Mo mm -hmm. forever that song <laughs> uh, that's been one of my favorite songs forever and I can remember like one of the first times I heard that song crying having tears because wow. I was like this song is so beautiful Amazing. and about like that love yeah. for your significant other that was just so deep that I knew that song had to be in there like that song had to be one of the songs that we did um shout out to Lil Mo I love her so <laughs> much that's my girl I love her um so yeah I think just putting together like I actually, even in the beginning, I think I had like six or seven songs. I had like a full wow. one like medley. You guys, it was like, the, yeah. the dance itself was seven minutes it's long, seven wasn't minutes it? Seven long. and a bit minutes long. Like, yeah. This was no Lil Dance, okay? This was a full on production. And my girlfriends were like, I remember like Aaliyah and Candace and Jamie, they yeah. were like in rehearsals like, girl, are you sure you want to <laughs> do all this? Like you are going to be tired. Like this is the end on of the your night on your day. wedding day. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. We have to do this. Like this is going down. And then I feel like afterwards they all – because obviously we didn't know what the outcome was going to be. Yeah. We didn't know this was going to go viral. Viral. I just, yeah. I just knew this is something I always wanted to do. I had wow. no idea that it was going to – like break the internet I had no idea so how was your reaction like what was your reaction what was what was your partner's reaction like when it went viral because oh I mean 17 million views isn't messing about so the next day it just like I, I think Patrick posted it on his Instagram just a small clip yeah. at the wedding and then um once we threw it up there like the next day the people would not stop talking about it we had like um, Good Morning America. We had called all these like news shows were trying to contact me. I mean, it was crazy. It was just a whirlwind of emotions. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just one of those things where you're like, this is all for like the love I have for my yeah, husband. Yeah, like it wasn't and planned to go no, viral. It yeah. wasn't for social media, but yeah. you were just sharing, you know, the incredible thing that you did. And yeah. wow. And yeah, I just look back and for the longest time, every time I'd watch the video, I would mm -hmm. cry. Every single time I would cry. I mean, I get emotional watching it. Yeah. And I'm just meeting you today. So, <laughs> wow, I can't even imagine how I you would feel. Cry. Yeah. But you pulled it off. Thank so, something you. I want to know is have you ever seen anyone try to recreate it? Because no one's ever done that before, I don't think. So, yeah. afterwards, did you ever see anyone try to recreate what you did? Yeah, I feel like there has been a few brides and few dances yeah. that have been kind of like similar. And it's cute because it's like, I'm you so happy I made, uh, yeah, an impression. I'm so happy yeah. that people, you know, want to also share that. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. I love seeing it. Do you know, I've got to tell you, someone in the room here told me the other day that one of their friends actually did it. <gasps> and really? I was like, no, stop. So oh, my god, She knows. She knows. So you really made a big wave Aww. with that. And I mean, I, if That's you haven't amazing. watched it, go and watch it. Just, just get on YouTube. <laughs> go and watch it. But I want to know also, before we move on, was it your first dance? So technically at a wedding, everyone has a first dance. And I know at the end of the video, everyone sort of joined you, like all the family, all the friends yeah. joined you. So was that the actual first dance or did you have a first dance no, as well? So no, so that wasn't the first dance. Oh my we, God. We had our first dance. You guys, this was at the very Whoa. end of our wedding. Like Brian, Whoa. Brian, so like the day before, 
I was working out lighting. Like I was in the venue choreographing because I was so anal. I wanted the lights to be like, especially on like Upgrade You when it was yeah. like, dun, 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 and it all dun, flashed. Dun, dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. Mate, it was a moment. Dun, dun. I'm sitting there <laughs> with this lighting guy, I kid you not. And I was like telling him to like learn lighting choreography. I was like, look, on these beats, Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I want the lights to go. Lights. Light. Like, he probably thought it was the, the just craziest the girl. Yeah. Because I just needed it. Like, I had a vision. When I have a vision, yeah, you've got there's it. nothing mm -hmm. that can, like, pull me away from that. So I had wow. to, like, make sure, you know, he had the mm -hmm. full-blown vision. But that night, Brian's like, where are you? I'm like, um, I'm just, you know, working with the lighting guy. He's like, what are you working with the lighting guy for? I'm like, babe, we just, the lighting needs to be on point, okay? This is on like, your wedding night or the night before? Like the night before. The night before, okay. I'm like, the lighting needs to be on point. He's like, you are crazy. Just like, you know, he's like, don't worry. The lighting will be fine. So <laughs> I feel like I kind of like gave him like a little inkling of like something there. What's going on? Mm -hmm. But by the end of the night, he's like, I was... I was thinking like, man, if she would have done something, she already would have done it by now. So it was like towards the very end of the night. And at that point, no one thought like, okay, there isn't going to be anything else. Because yeah. we already did the first dance. We did, you know, the speeches, the cutting of the cake. We did everything. Wow. And Brian was like, where is my wife? Like, she's been gone for a minute because we were changing. Obviously, I needed a mm -hmm. costume. Mm -hmm. um, oh, my God. There should have been a TV. There should have been a show filming us change because there should two, have been. I can imagine how crazy I, it was. I think it was Aaliyah and Candace their their costumes wouldn't zip up. So we're back there and literally like we can't get their costume to zip. The zipper broke. I'm like, great, this is this is horrible. Of course this would happen. So my friend Sammy who's a stylist, he's like, okay, I'm gonna have to just sew them inside of their costume. Oh like my I don't God. know. I don't know how this happened, but by the grace of God, both of them at the last minute ended up zipping up, but it was crazy. I feel like people just don't, don't know, know this. This is amazing. And this is all on your wedding day. Yeah. And something I'm thinking about is, I mean, I've never been married, so I don't know. But from weddings I've been to, you know, after the ceremony and after the first dance, like most people have a little drink and yeah. enjoy themselves. So how did you sort of keep yourself on form all day until oh the very gosh. end of your wedding to get up there and do a performance like that? Because I mean, it was, it yeah. was 100%. So I think so many people who have gotten married can attest to this. Like, mm -hmm. you just don't eat on your wedding day. No. You don't drink on your wedding day. There's too many things, like, going on. Yeah. You know, like, I had the... I was so worried about my vows. I wanted my vows oh to be perfect. God. Like, the speeches that we gave to our family. Yeah. I mean, like, for me, it wasn't the time for me to be like, oh, let me just, you know, have yeah. a drink. I'm like, I had so many things that I needed to do before I could have really, like... Relax. Relax. Once that yeah. was done, yeah. once that was done, did you go full in? Oh yeah, we just had a party. <laughs> so, so funny enough, the you you start hearing like the Italian music start playing oh, the terendella, and all of our family starts gathering around them and starts dancing with us. So that was like the I would say like the kickoff of like the part that like the wow. late night partying. I'd have yeah. loved to be a fly on the wall. Oh, Your gosh. wedding must be the best wedding ever. It was. You've been married for almost three years now. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Almost I mean, I he's a lucky man, a lucky man. Tell us a little bit about your relationship, how you guys met, you know, how long you've been together now. Oh my gosh. So Brian and I met, uh, we both went to cross rival high schools in Michigan. And like I said, I grew up dancing. So yeah. I wasn't the girl in high school that was like out. Like my parents were very strict with me. Wow. Um, and it was just school and dance, school and dance. That was it. Um, so he never really like saw me. He only saw me in a picture no. of like me and all my dance girlfriends at one of his buddies' house. And oh he's like, God. "Who is this girl?" And like he's like, "Oh, that's that's my friend Melissa." And like all those dance girls also went to his high school. So like he kind of knew about me, but at that point, yeah. I'd still never. We still never met. You're mysterious. Yes, this mysterious <laughs> girl. And um, my senior year in high school, my parents moved to San Francisco and I ended up living with my aunt just to finish my senior year okay. off because I didn't want to move, obviously. Um, and I felt like, okay, I had a little more freedom. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't have my mm -hmm. parents like watching yeah. every single like move I make. And I was at a graduation party and my friend was like, hey, uh, one of our friends is spinning downtown at St. Andrews Hall. And if you guys don't know what St. Andrews Hall is, yeah. it's where Eminem used to have all his rap battles. So we went downtown Stop. Detroit. Listen to this. Me and my friend go downtown Detroit. I'm walking in and Brian and his boys are kind of like walking out about to leave. And he's like, hey, he's like, I know you. And I'm like, oh, do you? And we had a kind of like small talk. And... Um, 
I gave him, you guys, my pager number. We didn't even have cell phones. Pagers. A pager oh number. Oh my God. A pager number. So he was blowing up my pager <laughs> and he will tell you, he's like, I, I wasn't, it wasn't that I was blowing him off. I just, at that point I had um, rehearsals for nationals. Yeah. So I had dance practices every single day and I just didn't have time. I love that. And um, he was so persistent, so persistent. And finally we figured out a, a day that he could take me out and he came over to my aunt's house and he's like, you were like that girl in the teenage movie where you were walking down the staircase and it was slow motion and your hair was blowing in the wind. Oh and he's like, I opened up the door and there was my angel. Like, he's like, I knew right then and there, like, you had to be my wife. I was like, stop. He's like, yeah. So that date was our first date and we like fell in love. It was like the best date ever. Oh we were God. seriously just meant for each other. Like, it was so obvious even back then that wow. he was my soulmate um so that summer we fell in love and I told him I was like look I'm gonna be moving to LA like I don't think this oh is gonna god, yeah. this it's like is a gonna, movie I know oh my god I'm this, obsessed this is not this is not gonna work out I mean <laughs> like I'm gonna be moving like yeah. I don't want to get too close to you and he's like you know let me be the judge of that like I wow. you know I'm just I'm like falling for you so hard so of course, he knew I was moving out to L.A., so what did he do? He moved. Did he? He moved out to L.A. before I got there. And he, like, no way. yeah, and he, um, you know, started, like, getting a feel for, like, the area. Yeah. And, um, I, of course, I moved out there because I was told you I was in that girl group mm -hmm. called Goddess. And um, I roomed with one of the girls from the girl group. And wow. my first apartment, they just started tearing it down, but yeah. it was off of, like, Doheny um, and Beverly. It was this pink this all pink apartment and it was super cute and I have like the best memories of my like first apartment wow I literally legit was that girl with the newspaper where they would have like the <laughs> you know like the apartments and like the paper yeah, this yeah, is yeah, like yeah. no one did anything online you guys oh okay God. I'm walking around LA with like literally like a newspaper like okay this one says it's for rent let's call the number like old school your whole life <laughs> sounds like a movie like a teenage movie oh dream gosh. so Anyway, pink house. Yeah, it was a pink house. It was a pink house. So, yeah, we were together that year. Mm -hmm. And then Brian's like, look, I have to move back to Michigan. I have to go to school. And, you know, this is just, we're just young, in love, broke. It just was hard, <laughs> you know. So we tried to do long distance. It didn't work out. And um, I actually ended up breaking up with him, you guys. Oh, yeah. ouch. Okay. And I broke his heart. Oh, my God. Wow. Poor guy. <laughs> and um, after I realized, like, man, I messed up. Like, like I was like, I need to be with this man. Like, I feel like this is just not right. I, I really messed up. When I went back to be like, hey, I want to, you know, give this a try again. He was so hurt still. He didn't want to do have anything to do with me. He was just, like, so, so hurt. So, yeah, we just, like, stayed in contact. Yeah. We remained friends. He was actually the one to push me to do making the band. He told me, wow. you know, go do this, go audition for this. He told me to audition for Search for the Next Doll. He was always that guy in my corner and just like pushing me and rooting mm. me on, um, even when we dated other people and we weren't together. Wow. So it's kind of crazy how we kind of came full circle and we found each other mm. again. How did you reconnect? And, oh my God, this is such a long story. <laughs> it's just like, so yeah, I don't know, just, over the years, like we stayed in contact, and then he uh, had a job at the time in Florida. He was he had to move to Florida from Michigan, wow. and we slowly started kind of seeing each other again. And um, yeah, things got serious again. And I just never thought like that we could find each other and that we would be together again. Wow. You know, so if there's a will, there's a way. And I feel like there's some saying that says, "If you love something, let it go, and if it's meant to be, it'll come back to you." Yeah. And that wow. honestly, I I'm totally like that there is a saying that it's it rhymes and it's super cute and I totally just like messed it up. But No, that, um, I, think the, I think that's the is, saying. Is it the yeah. saying? Okay, yeah. So I really like I was like, wow, that actually is true. Wow, and you look know? where you are now. Mm-hmm. And then he moved here. He proposed to me the first year he moved out here, which I did not see wow. even happening because he started a new job. And he was just like, I'm not losing this girl again, yeah. okay? <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
our relationship is seriously it's like a movie it's like it sounds like a movie mm -hmm. i just love that through all of that through you know the good times the bad times the hard mm -hmm. times you know we still manage to stick it out and are together and just so strong congratulations on that Thank what you. an incredible story Thank you. now speaking of the fact you don't th do things by halves you actually also announced your pregnancy on youtube through a music video yeah. that went you know we saw this incredible music video yeah. and then at the end we just saw you holding a gorgeous bump i know so i mean wow tell me about that like how long that's another big video you made yeah. like how incredible um so i was like okay when i found out i was pregnant obviously brian and i are so excited and yeah. i felt like it was the right time for us and i feel like when you're in the industry it's so hard to figure out when you want to have a child yeah um because you do kind of have to put your life on hold for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And there's no right or wrong time. And it's one of those things where you kind of just have to do it. And I was a little like afraid, like, okay, everything's gonna start slowing down in my life. Like, I don't know if I'm ready, mm -hmm. but I'm like, I just know, we just have to get the show on the road. You know, it just has to happen. <laughs> so we, um, yeah, we got pregnant and I'm like, I want to tell my followers I'm pregnant in a really creative, cool way. Like I can't just hold up a sonogram or a pregnancy stick and be like, I'm pregnant. Like, no, no, no. Because that we, is just not you. No, that is not me. No. no. We have to do something extremely extra <laughs> and, <laughs> and just, you know, like that is what I wanted to do. Yeah. So I had this song um, and I was like, okay, so what about at the end of the music video if we, you know, announce our pregnancy? And to get my husband, to get Brian, you guys, to be a part of a music video or to be a part of anything that I do yeah. creative, it's like, it takes a lot of work. I have to bribe him. I have to like oh pull out all the works because he just isn't that it's guy. Him, yeah. yeah. But um, thank you, baby, if you're listening. I hope you are. <laughs> For doing this. Like, it was just so cool. Yeah. I just loved that that's how. Um, I remember like Shay Mitchell at the time, she she texted me and she was like, oh my God, babe, like this video and how you announced your pregnancy was so epic. It was so yeah. amazing and beautiful. I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy you like it. I'm, I'm glad it was received that way. It was so creative. And I think that is the th the whole thing about you. You are clearly so creative. You've got so many you. incredible talents. How has becoming a mom changed your life? Because it must be so hard juggling everything that you've got going on. Definitely hard. I feel like... Um, I'm scaring some of my girlfriends at the moment <laughs> because I keep telling them how hard it is that one of my girlfriends was like, okay, you know what? I don't think I'm having kids. I'm like, no, no, no. Um, yes, it is the hardest job, but it yeah. is like the best job. And mm -hmm. I don't even know really how to explain that until you're there. It's one of those things that's yeah. like, you know, some of my mom friends when I wasn't a mom would, you know, tell me these things and they just don't click and they mm -hmm. just don't really mean anything until it happens to you. Yeah. Um, and then you have a whole new respect and appreciation for moms and mothers because you're like, holy shit, how do you do this? How did you do this? Like, wow. yeah, it's mind blowing. It is mind blowing. Um, obviously, I feel like it's changed my life for the better because mm -hmm. there's just everything is so much more exciting now. You know, yeah. she, everything she's doing, she's learning. It's for the first time yeah. and to get to witness that it's so cool you know and her name is london rose yeah tell me obviously we love the name london we're right from the uk so <laughs> we're feeling that but where did the inspiration come from so brian and i always loved the name london i just think it's so it's pretty gorgeous. it's such a gorgeous name and then rose just seemed like it it went with it so nicely it does and um yeah we both just he was like what about london and i was like yeah i love london i've always loved london and then so he came up with the first name and then i came up with rose it goes yeah. so well together as mm -hmm. well and then i was also thinking of course me i'm like well you know if she's going to be in the industry or if she's going to come out with a line of clothing mm -hmm. or she's going to come out with this she needs to have a name she's got like, strong name yeah yes. like that she could do something with definitely so, okay of obviously the businesswoman that was like in my head for That's her as it. well you're not messing around <laughs> at all no <laughs> and do you hope to have more children after having london is there any thought about more or you just Ab yeah absolutely now? i think we do want more um we just like yeah, or taking this in stride, yeah. and then, yeah, who okay. knows when number two. I would love to actually have three, but I think three will just be too much. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think you will never hear from me ever again if I have three kids. So, yeah, probably just two. Okay, well, we'll keep our eye out, see yeah. what's happening. With all of your experiences and everything you've done in the past, what are you currently focusing on, apart from being a mother? 
Um, so career wise, I started um, Moved by Melissa, which is mm -hmm. my fitness platform, yes. which I'm super passionate about. Um, in 2015, I started a class called Power Booty here in LA, yes. and it is just an amazing fitness class focusing mm -hmm. on the booty, of course, your mm -hmm. legs, your core, um, just a really good um, exercise. So when I started that, I always envisioned to have an online platform where yeah. I could have a program that people could um, use if they didn't have access to me. Mm -hmm. So that's when I launched um, Power Booty Volume 1 on Move by Melissa. Um, Movebymelissa.com. .com. We've got it I'm there. Gonna plug that's it. it. I'm going to go, go and have a look at this yeah. a bit more. Um, and it's an eight-week program. Amazing. And man, you will feel your booty grow. I'm not even kidding. Like, it'll be swollen because the workouts are just so amazing. Really, really amazing. Oh my I God. put everything I have into this. So um, that was a big project. And... I'm also, um, when I was pregnant, I also mm -hmm. shot, which I haven't um, come out with yet, but hopefully this year, I also shot a prenatal um, series called Power Baby. Oh so, my God, yeah. no So we'll have for all my pregnant mamas, um, just I wanted to give them also a program. Yeah. So I worked out throughout my whole pregnancy and I think it was the best that's thing I could have ever done. Incredible, absolutely incredible. And when yeah. can we expect that? So that's going to come out soon. So yeah, I'm working on that. I don't have a, uh, a launch date mm -hmm. for it yet, but um, yeah, I definitely, by the end of this year, for sure, I, I wanted that to, to come out. And then I'm hoping, because I've been saying this forever, I want to do a Power Booty tour. Oh my God, please. So, Come to the UK. Come yeah. to Manchester. I mean, we oh will be God. there. I will definitely. I've seen you work out. I was watching your story yesterday, I think. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Someone tell me how I can work out like this girl. Yeah. Wow. You are superwoman. Oh, All over. Thank you. you really yeah. Are. I'm just so focused right now mm. on just like, you know, getting strong. Being strong for London and not yeah. it's not just for me, it's like everyone always talks about like the snap back and there's mm -hmm. so much pressure on like getting your body back after you have a baby. Yeah. And now with social media, it's like you see these girls online, like they have a baby and the next day they look freaking snatched like yeah. in a photo. You're like, mm -hmm. how did you just do that? Like it's it's crazy. Um, I just didn't want to put the emphasis on, you know, like, you know, snatch back and getting it your body. That yeah. wasn't the idea. No, for me, I just wanted for I wanted um, women to take the time, number one, with their baby. Those first few weeks are just so, so important and yeah. they go by so, so fast. And I feel like dealing with enough pressure with like worrying about your weight and yeah. all the other things that postpartum brings on, that is the last thing anyone needs to mm -hmm. be worrying about. Mm -hmm. So I took my time. I got the okay from my doctor to work out yeah. um, at six weeks and I even pushed it to eight. I was like, you know what? I, I still don't feel like it's my time to start working out. And you know your body. Yeah. And I'm like, when I do get in the gym, it's going to be on. Like, I'm not going to be messing around. And I think you just have to be dedicated, put in mm -hmm. the time, put in the work. And then obviously the results will follow. Yeah. And that's kind of like my mentality, like... I think the results definitely have followed. Wow, <laughs> hard work pays off. Can I just say, your Aww. body's incredible. I um, can't believe that you have not long ago had a child. Thank you, I'm trying, so, I'm trying, girl. <laughs> now, before you go, it's been absolutely incredible getting to know you. I wanna know, obviously you're very talented. So do you think you could sign off this podcast in a British accent? It's a challenge. Oh, have you done British accents, be accents before? So like, it's, it's kind of hard, but it's one of those things where like, I just have to start like talking like you because I love your accent. Like, it's so beautiful, you know? I mean, I think you've killed it. I think you've killed it. Well done. When that I was, was in, amazing. When I was in London, I did that. So Honey 2, this dance yes. movie I did, it yes. premiered in London and we didn't have a premiere in the US. So oh I God. went to London and did all of the press in London mm -hmm. and I left you guys with a full-blown accent. I'm not even joking. All of my inflections when I came back to the U.S. were so different. Really? Like, yeah, it was hilarious. And people were like, why are you talking like that? I'm like, I don't know. I just I just picked up like my accent, my, my British accent. It is so funny. We do speak so different. It's actually hilarious listening to my voice and your voice. The two different accents are so far apart. But you, I mean, you can do everything. First of all, your accent is beautiful. It is my favorite. Like, Stop. I love how you guys talk so much. I'm like, I wish I... I should just like, you know, talk like this in an accent all the time. There you go, guys. Right, Melissa Molinaro.
that's it signing off from the podcast signing off <laughs> Melissa it's been amazing getting to know you I think I could sit here for hours and get to know you I know we really could literally we could we have talking. spoken about everything thank you so much for joining us on PLT Behind Closed Doors I know that our listeners are going to absolutely love getting to know you on a deeper level we really appreciate you taking time out of your busy life and your mum life right you. now so thank you for joining us and we'll hopefully see you again soon yes absolutely thank you guys so much it was such a pleasure and to everyone who is listening thanks for all your support mm-hmm. always I love you guys so much and yeah thank you to you guys and pretty little things you're welcome thank you thank you to everybody for watching at home and listening at home make sure you subscribe and leave a review on the podcast if you have enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next week bye, bye.